All right, today I'm gonna cook the first fish I catch off this mini skillet from Bass Pro Shop. Let's get them. We also have a micro rod from Bass Pro Shop, night crawler on top, and a rock on the bottom. Let's see what we could get. Hoping for a massive fish on this rod. Can't imagine a fight. Got something. And it will be a shad. This is not gonna be good. You said what? The first fish I catch? Yeah, man of my word. We're gonna we're gonna cut a piece of this shad and put it on the skillet. Oh man. Let's see if we could catch something to watch down that shad. Yeah buddy. yeah, buddy. Good little channel. Oh yeah, that short right there. Going on the <laughs> about three three bites right here. What'd you say? Three bites. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Come on up. It seems big on this little rod. Oh, all right, decent. What's this? Yellow bass. Yeah, buddy. This is definitely going on the skillet. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got, nope, still on. What is this? Another baby cat. These little fish are feeling like monsters on this rod. Check out the flexibility. It's just an enjoyable rod to take out and have some fun. This one is way too small. There you go, buddy. All right, let's try to get that five pounder. got a brim fourth species of the day she's out here having a good time oh i left the rod out and <laughs> had to go make a call something is on this for sure another small cat oh, yeah eater, right? it is an eater for everyone that's not informed i'm fishing on lake conway there are no regulations, no size limit, no limit on how many you could take home because all of this is going to be dry fairly soon. Or it should have been, but it keeps raining. <laughs> Something's playing with it. Come on. Oh, all right. What is this? No way. A baby speckled catfish. Got a new pet. That's what we got. <laughs> oh man. That's a beautiful catfish. Let's try to hunt for some palm sized brim before we leave and cook up this delicious shad. Look at that. Not a brim, but we have a good old white bass fighter. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Nice eater right here. Going on the pan tonight. What you got over there, Tell? It's pulling drag. <laughs> Two pound shad? Maybe. Bring him in. Oh my goodness. It's a white bass. Oh man, good eating. Yeah, we're taking that one home. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is four pound test line, huh? Let me, I got you, I got you. Yeah. I'm trying to bait you. Oh man, these will pierce your skin. Good catch. What you got on the micro rod? 
Oh, catfish. I see you, Mrs. Branton. Did you? Gut hook them? <laughs> hey, we're gonna, it counts, it counts. They, we got them in. Time to fillet a shad. This is going to be disgusting. I am not looking forward to this. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is for y'all. I will be the guinea pig. Although we already know the outcome, probably very nasty. And here we go. We have a good shad fillet. And now to wash off the shad with the catfish. I'm trying to get as much as meat as I can. I have the GoPro on my kneecap right now, so it's not as smooth as it could be. I'm trying to balance everything out right now. But we're gonna make it work. Not the sharpest knife either. <laughs> All right, and we have dessert. And now for the brim. We're just gonna cut the head off of this one. Scale it, gut it, and put it on hold. Get all the fins out. Just like that, we have our brim. All right, time for the last fish. A good old white bass. Came off pretty smooth. Oh, and it had eggs. Well, let's cook it up too. If y'all never had white or striper bass eggs, they are really, really good. Pretty much just melt in your mouth. This is the smoothest fish I've laid today. Look at that. This is gonna be good. Okay, we're gonna go down here and see how these fillets taste. I am not excited about this shad. What an amazing day. It's like this wood was meant to put a mini skillet on it. Just beautiful. We have some natural tumbleweeds. Let's put a little bit under it. So we can get it going a little bit faster. A little toilet paper to accelerate the process. And it should light up pretty quick. I was going to use some batter, but I feel like that's cheating because it's too much flavor in this. So we're just gonna eat it without it and see how the fish tastes straight up. Now that we have the fire going, let's put the skillet on top. <laughs> we're gonna fix that. We need a nice flat platform. There we go. There we go. Heat it up, baby. Now that it's on the fire, we got some good old olive oil. Let's put it up. All right. And now we wait. All right, here's a plate full of fillets and the first to go on the fire is the good old shad. Never have I ever tried it, but there's a first for everything. And of course, of course, we have the chopsticks. Okay, here sizzling. Check it out. Life doesn't get any better than this. Fresh shad on a mini skillet. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Go. 
we are flipping the shad, or at least trying to. Oh yeah. All right. One piece, two piece. Nothing like fresh shad. Oh man. Here we go. <laughs> Terrible idea. Uh, negative two out of ten. It's cooked all the way for sure. Cooked a lot of fish to know that. And yep, yep, yep. Never again. <laughs> What did it taste like? What did it taste like? It tasted like... It was terrible. It was fishy. Like it was fish mushy. Rubber? It was um, <laughs> mushy and rubbery at the same time. I can't explain it. But uh, it tasted <laughs> disgusting. That's what it tasted like. Next on the fire, I need that catfish to rinse out my mouth. So we're going to put it on next. Alright bro. I'm already knowing this catfish is going to be very good. Um, I need something to wash out my mouth. That shad was despicable. Come on. I need you to get that shad taste out my mouth. Cook a little bit faster. The catfish is now finished. Let's put it on our little plate. I know what y'all are thinking. Tony Stay Fishing is one disgusting dude. But I had to try it. I, I'll just for pure curiosity. Ooh, kind of hot, but very good. Now, time for the white bass. We're actually going to put the egg on it also. There we go. All right, let me move the skillet over here. Okay. Oh yeah, nothing like fresh fish over an open fire. Life's good. Let's flip it. It's cooking really fast now that the heat's up. Oh, all right. <laughs> still alive. It's still alive. It's swimming in oil now. First we try the egg. This is a, uh, this is true dessert right here to a fisherman. Like I said earlier, it just melts in your mouth. Really good texture and absolutely a great flavor to it. for the actual meat. Got some bones on there. Let's separate it first. Mm. You know white bass is actually one of my favorite fish to eat other than a striper but you know they're kind of alike. A lot of people I know actually dislike it. I'm not quite sure why. It's really really good. for the final fish. Yes, right. We have Mrs. Bratton behind the camera. What would I do without you, baby? What a trooper. <laughs> She's watching her fiance cooking fish over a mini skillet. Yes. <laughs> I love her so much. I love you. I love you. I hope this turns out good. Uh, me too. It's really pretty out here though. Very pretty. I'm gonna miss it. It's gonna be a sad day when it goes completely dry. But for now, we're gonna live in the present and just enjoy it while it lasts. All right. And, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, hey, 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 hey. You're the last fish. You're the last fish. Don't get complicated now. I already know this is gonna taste good. There's nothing like some good old brim. 
Mm -hmm. Exactly what I thought. I am so hungry. I could eat this whole if the bones wouldn't mess my mouth, throat, digestive system up. <laughs> Everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, it even had a little crunch to it. All right. This was such a fun experiment and experience. I would probably never, ever, ever, ever eat shad again in my life. But now I know what it tastes like. And just like that, we are going to call it a night. It's getting very dark, as you can see. I just want to say much love to every single one of y'all. Thank you all for your support. Remember, stay fishing and stay outdoors because there is nothing like it. What? What's on me? Oh, a pug. <laughs> I had to hold that. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so dark without the light. Okay, this is what it really looks like. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. <laughs> it smacked me like... <laughs> she said, oh. I had to hold that in. Oh man. All right, remember, stay outdoors, but be safe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why did you put the light like that? Oh. Mrs. Bright. <laughs> Peace.